Hey guys, uh, so this is Eric with uh, Dragon Chain, the Den team. So we've been working kind of silently on a mobile app for about a month now. And um, just wanted to show it off real quick. So I think Joe probably just sent me some energy. So one of the biggest reasons we wanted to do a mobile app um, is for the just the purpose of being able to get you guys uh, more engaged, um, give you richer notifications, giving you um, the opportunity to actually see what's going on and give you more uh, more notifications even. So one of the things we're doing now is to be able to show when someone's upvoted your content. So going into Den Mobile, uh, it takes you right into the content just as you would expect. Um, so this is this is Den Mobile. Uh, we're, we don't have feature parity yet, so everything is is uh, kind of a work in progress. Uh, some of the changes that we've made to it uh, specifically are for voting. So the voter is now on uh, the, the lower end of the content instead of to the less. So one of the things that it's going to enable us to do is have richer content cards coming in the future. So maybe you see that on other social apps where you have larger images, um, background colors for your text, those sort of things we'll be adding uh, in the future. Um, we have replies working pretty well. Mo native sharing is working really well. Um, layers, you know, kind of the everything that you would expect is coming in and working. Um, even, you know, uh, GIFs, animated GIFs, and those sorts of things coming in. Um, the network is bugged. That's funny. So we'll be releasing this hopefully, you know, in beta within the next couple weeks. Uh, we have everything submitted through the App Store as of today for um, beta testing uh, for Apple. Uh, there's also an Android app uh, again, that's going to be that's already in the works. It's the same same platform, so we're killing two birds with one stone, uh, and hopefully even uh, be able to get the Android version out to you sooner. Uh, for I think probably sixty seven percent of of our users and then right now use Android, so we'll um, hopefully get that out to you guys pretty quick. And uh, yeah, so this is a demo. Sweet, sweet. Hey Eric, can you show uh, like even posting an image, right? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So let me get an image up real quick. Lance, you want to take a picture? Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so let's just do this real quick. So I can do a reply. Camera app. There's Lance. This is our office. Lance is in our office. Uh, Lance. Uh, reply. There we go. <laughs> So again, I just got a notification. So if I refresh the page now, oh right. So we don't have. Let me go to the feed. The feed will have it. So here's Lance from the den office here. And some of the things we're working on is again, it's just the the content views. So Todd's working on that. So we've moved over. We finished a lot of the features that we need for the desktop app, and now we're going to be focusing heavily on on the mobile app to get that feature parity within the next couple of weeks. Uh, let's see. What else, Joe? Um, I don't know. I mean, that's 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 pretty pretty much it. I mean, it's uh, it just just the fact that uh, we didn't expect to have anything on mobile yet, and you have that <laughs> built out is like that is pretty amazing. And um, we also uh, for anybody who's been in the beta, uh, which by the way, it's it is it is um, open. Anybody can sign in to Dan. Right now, you can't read. Uh, posts or, or any content unless you have an account uh, later that will change we're you know going to do that soon but um, uh, I, I guess it's it's really interesting that I didn't even expect it that we now have the state um, persistence for navigation where when you uh, you know scroll down and, and get pretty pretty uh, far down the list of posts in a layer or something you uh, uh, click on something to get the context. You you know you might make a reply or something, and then when you go back, you don't have to find where you were, right? So so that's been a big right. help. Um, it's an amazing difference, and um, so far the economy is uh, really working. Um, I guess another piece that's coming in uh, when we roll out with uh, Matter uh, Origin Block is that we have uh, a better uh, consensus algorithm on the. Uh, actual evaluation itself that is uh, uh, obviously uh, we don't 
uh, let people vote on their own posts because uh, then I, I vote on a post and uh, put all my energy on it and hopefully mine's a matter, right? Um, instead, uh, people, you know, we had seen some uh, uh, level of people sharing where I might post something that's kind of lackluster, but my buddy would upvote it like crazy because I'm going to generate some matter and then upvote his post like crazy. Um, that uh, instead now we have to have, uh, it, it's a scaled uh, weighting uh, based upon consensus. So you have to have more than a few people voting on a post for the energy to be accounted for well. So um, there's a bunch of really neat stuff like that that we're rolling in and uh, uh, the team is really delivered a lot uh, really fast. So um, there's a lot coming. That's, that's probably that's probably about it. I'm probably missing something, right? Um, but there's a lot more. We'll, we'll uh, more. Uh, well, maybe, do you want to touch on maybe a minute for, I think we have a minute left, but on the change we did to the matter generation? Oh, which which one? Do you mean the? Oh, yes, that's actually very interesting, right? Um, that yeah. much like how dragons are on Ethereum, and and dragons also operate inside of the hybrid core platform. Um, in Din, uh, all of the things happen on Dragon Chain, and yet the lore is going to be ERC twenty on Ethereum. The lot is going to be uh, non fungible. Um, I'm not sure which standard we're going to use yet. Um, and matters ERC-20 on Ethereum. And uh, therefore, the mining of matter is interesting in that um, on Ethereum, it's a minting process where uh, every day between, uh, you have to correct me if I'm wrong here, Eric, but between sure. uh, 2300 and zero hour UTC, uh, so between 11 p.m. and midnight uh, in uh, 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 England, that the ma 1,000 matter is minted, right? Um, because it's a it's an oracle, and because you know, what if uh, uh, the eternal node is down, or what if it's uh, you know the connectivity is lost, or something else? Um, what we've done is made that minting process open, so anybody in the world can can mint that. So if you theoretically beat our system to it you would be minting the uh, matter. Um, now, it, it uh, uh, doesn't effectively reward you directly because the matter will go into a cold storage wallet that is owned by uh, the DEN system, um, and from which the matter, when uh, on, the, on the Dragon DEN side, is mined. So it's minted in Ethereum, uh, thrown into a cold wallet, and then mined uh, on by certain accounts inside of DIN, so you get a proportion of that 1,000 based upon the amount of energy and a bunch of other rules that you've collected over that day. Um, so we are going to reward, we do think, we don't have uh, this laid out yet because we just uh, had to solve some issues with uh, the way that the mining was happening, um, and the team had uh, brilliant ideas around it, so I'm like, yeah, that, that really works, and we basically, if someone, um, if someone pushes the button to mint the lore before we, or sorry, to mint the matter before we do, um, we're going to reward them with lore. Um, and, and what that does is it'll incentivize them for one, uh, on the one hand, to say, okay, I want the matter mined, big, or minted and mined so that I can get my, my uh, matter for the day. But on top of that, there's a reward in case our systems are down or anything else that anyone can can make that happen and they'll have some uh, reward inside the DIN system. Um, and um, other than that, I mean, just, there's a there's a ton around the uh, layer ownership and uh, that we could go into. But yeah, it's, it's a long. And and the goal with the matter contract, uh, we've set an internal goal to have that completed by Thursday, I believe. Okay. And to awesome. do the first mining, minting of the tokens on Ethereum uh, for Friday, uh, which is our internal goal. Um, wow. So we'll probably be able to hold hold pretty firm to that. Okay. Uh, Sweet. Yeah. That's amazing. And uh, for anybody who's in the beta, uh, the, the part that's interesting about that is we're going to allow you to retain your energy. So if you've built up a lot of energy like I have, um, you'll be able to use it until it dwindles down and... Um, the way energy is uh, calculated, the way that energy is generated, is based entirely on how much matter you have. So, 
um, it'll give you a little uh, head start so, you, so that we can have enough content uh, in the early days of matter mining. And um, everybody's matter will be erased and anybody who's in the beta will be rewarded with lore for the matter they've generated. Um, and all that's in a white paper. But uh, yeah, it, it's going to be fun and interesting and there's a lot of really neat stuff that uh, we plan. So. Yep. Right on. Oh yeah, I think we're done with that. So and it's it's five oh four. Um, what is up next, Brandon? Uh, we have the hackathon participants, so we're gonna go ahead and get them in. Um, we're gonna take a short, quick intermission while we go ahead and get set up. Okay, quick intermission. Then the hackathon uh, participants. We're going live. All right. Thank you. Nice. Thanks. See you guys.